time for some Kerbal Space Program. This should be fun. Let's see what we can do today. Kerbals have come a long way since I first started this career mode, and Kerbal Laboratories have accomplished quite a bit. But now we're finally at the step that I've been working towards, building a space station. I've already got a space station pretty much made, ready to launch. I need to make some minor changes to it, and then it'll be ready to go. All right. Changes I want to make involve shrinking this down. I think I made it just a little too big. Let's remove some of these parts here. Just shrink it down just a little bit. It's very, very tall. There we go. Should be a little better. Five and five. Center piece is where the primary struts are. Plenty of lights on it. These are just docking modules, so that way I can dock stuff to the space station. And we'll check that there. That looks good. All right, let's save that and prepare to lift off the, the center module. Oh, here we go. Our space station central command. I'm using my Zenorian heavy lifter since it's since it can lift 120 tons, um, this is way less than 120 tons, but it does the job. I don't have to worry about it not making it into an orbit because I plan to put this at 150 kilometer orbit. All right, so here we go. Let's launch this stuff here. Okay, we're ready to send this into orbit. Let's begin. This space station will be sent up in three parts. We'll have the center command module here, and then we'll have the two docking modules on each side of it. The design is pretty much just a stick. It's fairly straightforward, simple, but it allows me to conduct science in orbit around Kerbin and to dock stations, dock other ships with it to uh, refuel them or add more modules. We are not sending a crew up with this one just yet. That'll be a separate launch. I want to get this into orbit first and get it assembled. And then we'll follow with crew to man the laboratory. Since the uh, Zenorian heavy lifter that I made is capable of carrying a 120 ton payload, and this is significantly lighter, I should be able to make it into orbit, use RCS thrusters to recorrect it, and then land safely back on Kerbin using only uh, rocket fuel if I want. I don't have to use the parachutes, but I like to use them. It conserves a little bit of fuel by doing it that way. And But let's speed up time here. As you can see, I also like to put the probe modules on there. That way I can have it completely unmanned should I need to evacuate it. And I also still have to create some escape pods for it, but I'll do that a little later. All right, now to enable RCS thrusters. Uh, fuel disabled. I did put a fuel tank on the station itself, so that way it can maneuver with its RCS thrusters if it starts to go a little crazy. But most of the time, it'll just be in a stable orbit and not move from that. I've learned that putting the reaction wheel in the center of mass seems to help a lot better. I could be wrong about that, but it just seems like it does. And there we have it. The first part of the station is in orbit. Now let's correct it and line it up the way I want it. I think I'm going to make this face. Yeah, let's make it face towards the sun. When I deploy the panels, the solar panels, it'll collect a lot more electricity that way. And there we go. Perfect. All right, now to release the cargo. It's attached via docking modules here. Um, that way there's no debris from the couplers. It is free. Back away. 
just a little bit. And there we have it. Now the first part of the space station is in orbit. All right, let's land this at the Kerbal Space Center pad here and prepare to load up the next piece to dock to this station. All right, let's deploy chutes and finish up our uh, landing here. Looks like we might actually land right on the launch pad. Nice. Might be off just a little bit, but let's see if we can correct that. going to be sitting right on the edge from the looks of it. And we have plenty of fuel to land this. And go a little closer there. And there we have it. Landed safely back on Kerbin. And now we'll prepare to send up the last two parts of the space station and then create a escape pod to go with it.